Amid constant discussion of the coveted swing states, voters in Pennsylvania think President Trump will win the state with ease. Here's more on their point of view. Supporters young and old are turning out in droves to do whatever they can to give President Trump four more years in office. At a rally Tuesday in Johnstown, Pennsylvania, the president's supporters were confident he would hold on to the currently red states and would have no trouble flipping some of the swings. Gateway Pundit founder Jim Hoft said the president's path to victory was assured, despite so-called schemes from the Democrats complicating the process. If it's a fair election, Donald Trump wins 55-45 or larger. If, but because of what the Democrats are doing and these strange techniques they're using, like putting uh, ballot boxes in all these counties across the U.S., even in Texas, that's going to have a huge impact. Um, it's completely something we've never seen before. But radio host Rose Tennant says even amid the political ploys, the president has shown voters that he is working hard to help them and to make America great again, and they are eager to return the support. This state is going to go bigger for Trump than it did in 2016. And I've been asked to speak all across the all across the state. I talked to people, I talked to the Amish who are doing their own parades with horse and buggies. I talked to law enforcement who said, he has our back, we've got his back. She also fought back against assertions from the left that some groups, namely women, wouldn't support the president. That's another lie, Jack, that women don't support this president. We love this president because you know what we care about most? That's security, security for family. We care about the Constitution because we want to know that that person in the White House is going to preserve that Constitution, which means those liberties that we enjoy, our children, your children, my children, and their children will be able to enjoy those same liberties. Early voting has already begun, with the state opening several satellite elections offices to help make sure voters can cast their ballots safely and quickly. The Keystone State, which President Trump flipped in 2016, has been a frequent host to the two presidential candidates, as many polling sites have labeled it a swing state, leaving its 20 electoral votes up for grabs. But Tennant disagrees, saying she's been speaking to voters in the state regularly, and many are lining up to cast their ballot for the president. So don't let anyone tell you that we're struggling in here in Pennsylvania um, between Biden and Trump. It's a no-brainer. Pennsylvania loves Trump. I mean, big time. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.